Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the extensions in Power BI. So what is PBIX, what is PBIT and what is PBIDS. So let's go into that. Before do that, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So what is PBIX? So basically, when you save your Power BI file, the extension of Power BI files is .pbix. So that's the default extension. And this file, you can share the file itself with others through a Google Drive or OneDrive or through an email, you can share to others. If they have installed Power BI desktop version, then they can open this file. If they have not installed, then they need to download and install the latest version of Power BI desktop onto their machine. And if you are using an import mode, this is an important part that then not only you are sharing your report structure, but it will also go the data inside to that. So you need to make sure when you want to share the report with others, if you are sharing an import mode, then you are sharing with the data. And if you don't want to share the data and only the structure, there are certain cases that if you want to do a performance tuning and you don't want to share the data with the others, with the other consultants, then how you want to do that? Please comment me the answers in the comment section below. Let's see about who, how we need to do that. And what is PBIT? So it is extension of Power BI template file and the Power BI report template contains the following information from report from which they were generated. Report pages, visuals and other visual elements. The data model definition, including the schema, relationship, measures and other model definition items. All query definitions such as queries, query parameters and other query elements. And what is not included is the report's data. So everything is there, only the data is not available there. So that's the report template. So what is the use of it, right? So set up an organizational level theme, logo, images, default tables, etc. We can make use of that. And this is also best practice to use the template file in every organization so that user can start the development using the template file itself. Because in the template file, we can set up the theme, images and logos and everything and the default tables so that they can gear up using that. And how we need to do that is you just need to click on the file in Power BI Desktop in that template file which you are working on and then click on export and then click on Power BI template. So it will ex export this file into a Power BI template file. And how we need to use that is you need to click on file and then click on import and from here you can select power bi template file where you can select the existing template file and after that if there is a parameter available then it will pop up a window you need to select the parameter and if there is a report uh, data source connections available then you need to also give the connection details that's how you can be able to use this power bi template file now when it comes to power bi data source file which is called pbids the extension so now you may wonder about what is the difference between the pbit and pbids right so the pbids file doesn't include authentication information and table and schema information right in the template file everything was there except the data but here not even the authentication and the table and schema information it is easier for beginning report authors to build a new report from the same data. Right? The PBIF DS file type only support data connections that are also supported in Power BI Desktop with the following exceptions, wiki, URLs, live connect and blind query. So when you, how you are have to export this file? So for that you need to go to file and then options and settings and then data source settings. To click here, it will open up this window and if you see at the bottom, you have this export PBIDS, then it will export this file into a Power BI data source. So this is all about the file type extensions in Power BI. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button 
if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure to turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video